The P40 Pro features a quad curve overflow display with carved glass at all four edges. There are still very thin bezels at the top and bottom. The 6.58 inch screen on the Huawei P40 Pro has a resolution of 1200 by 2640. Huawei has increased the refresh rate of the screen to 90Hz which is faster than the 60Hz of its previous phones but not quite as fast as competing handsets like the S20 and Oppo Find X2 Pro that offer a 120Hz display. The Huawei P40 Pro is powered by the same Kirin 9905G chipset that we have seen in the Mate 30 Pro 5G and Huawei's folding phone, the Mate XS. This is based on 7 nanometer manufacturing technology and is plenty fast enough to keep up with the latest flagship phones. The processor is teamed up with 8GB of RAM and also currently the only high-end chipset with integrated 5G, meaning it will work well with the dedicated 5G networks of the future as well as with the current hybrid LTE-5G networks. If there's one thing that has made Huawei's P-series phones stand out from the crowd, it's the camera tech. The P20 and P30 handsets raised the bar when it came to the mobile photography and Huawei is looking to raise it higher again with the P40 Pro. On the rear section, the Leica branded camera setup composed of a 50 megapixel primary and 40 megapixel ultra wide cameras and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera that's capable of 5x optical zoom or 50x digital zoom. There's also a time of flight sensor for creating bokeh effect in portrait mode shots. With the P40 series, Huawei is debuting its XD Fusion engine, which uses AI to optimize your photos. Huawei was one of the first manufacturers to get on board with AI and the results on the P40 Pro are impressive. The phone can remove friends from a picture and even reflections that appear when you are trying to photograph anything that's behind a glass. The P40 Pro also features impressive zooming capabilities and Huawei isn't shy talking about that. Low light photography has been a strong point for Huawei and the P40 Pro doesn't disappoint on that front. The P40 Pro's rear camera layout is capable of shooting Ultra HD 4K video at up to 60 frames per second, as well as super slow motion at up to an eye-watering 7680 fps. Both modes are available on the ultra wide and wide cameras. Up front is a 32 megapixel selfie shooter backed up by laser guided autofocus. The 32 megapixel selfie shooter is able to capture lots of detail and color in almost all lighting conditions. The Huawei P40 Pro is equipped with a 4200 mAh battery, which should last you a full day of moderate to heavy uses. It supports 40W fast wired charging as well as wireless charging and reverse wireless charging. It has a 6.78 inch display that packed with many features to enhance your viewing experience. It has a ultra HD resolution with 10 bit color, a variable 120Hz refresh rate and a 240Hz touch input rate. There is also a post ultra vision engine chipset which can automatically upgrade 60fps video to 120fps to fit the screen rate. These features combine to deliver a screen that's vibrant and which should display content beautifully. There's no 3.5mm headphone jack here, so fans of wired headphones will be disappointed. The phone is IP68 protected though, so it's safe from dust and water to a high degree. There's plenty of reason to believe the Oppo Find X2 Pro will be a processing powerhouse. It's got the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset and 12GB of RAM. The Snapdragon chipset endows the Find X2 Pro with super-fast 5G connectivity, as it has a 5G modem built-in. Oppo told us there won't be a 4G-only X2 handset. The Oppo Find X2 Pro has three rear cameras, two of which have 48 megapixel sensors, the main camera and an ultra wide snapper, while the third is a 13 megapixel telephoto snapper. This shooter has the same lens as the zoom module of the Oppo Reno 10X zoom, so it supports 5x optical, 10x hybrid, and 60x digital zoom. There are a few interesting features Oppo has included, such as the phone's ability to capture raw images. Raw files capture more brightness and color information than regular JPEG images, giving you more scope to process them in editing software, and an autofocus system based on Sony's alpha cameras. There's also 4K video recording at up to 60fps. On the front of the phone, there is a 32 megapixel front facing camera in the cutout segment. Overall, the Find X2 Pro produces excellent exposure and captures a good amount of detail, even in overcast weather. Colors are accurate and lean more towards the realistic side rather than being oversaturated. In terms of battery life, you are getting a 4260mAh power pack, which would normally be pretty generous for a flagship phone. Although because of the large screen and high-end display tech, it may not actually last very long. 
The Oppo Find X2 Pro uses Oppo 65W fast charging which will apparently get the device from empty to 100% in 35 minutes or less. OnePlus has added the best display it's ever made on the 8 Pro and the Chinese company says it's the best screen you will see on a phone for 2020. It is a 6.78 inch fluid display with a 120Hz refresh rate, HDR10 Plus support and QHD resolution. The OnePlus 8 Pro features a circular punch hole camera cutout in the top left corner of the screen. The OnePlus 8 Pro is the first handset from the brand to carry an official IP rating which means it's officially protected against dust and water. The phone features Qualcomm's top-of-the-line Snapdragon 865 chipset which comes with Qualcomm's X55 5G modem to enable super-fast internet speeds where 5G is available. The OnePlus 8 Pro packs four rear cameras including a 48MP main camera with a 1.78 aperture. There's also a 8MP telephoto camera with a 3x optical zoom and ultra-wide 48MP camera with a 119-degree field of view and a dedicated 5MP color filter camera that lets you apply artistic filters as you are shooting. The OnePlus 8 Pro's main 48MP camera and wide-angle shooter take sharp and vibrant shots, especially in outdoor lighting. The dynamic range and color accuracy is great. In addition to that, the camera's 3x lossless zoom can take pictures without losing detail. It can also digitally zoom up to 30x, but the photo quality really degrades at this level. The camera can also shoot 4K video and has optical image stabilization. On the front, there is a single 16MP selfie camera which delivers stunning quality. Overall, the OnePlus 8 Pro cameras are a big improvement over the camera setups found on the 7 Pro and 70 Pro. The OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a sizable 4510 mAh battery, which is the biggest OnePlus has ever put in a handset. The OnePlus 8 Pro could comfortably last a day on a single charge with typical uses including gaming, video playback, social media, messaging, video calls and photography. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro look very similar with the screens that curve at the edges and that are broken up by punch hole cutout cameras in the top left of the display. On the back there is a camera bump in the top left corner. These phones have a 6.67 inch OLED screen with HDR10 Plus support and a screen refresh rate of 90Hz to make content and motion look a bit smoother. The Xiaomi Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro both run on the top-end Snapdragon 865 chipset paired with 12GB of RAM and 512GB of storage options. That chipset has an adjacent 5G modem. One of the most important features of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro is the 108MP main camera which takes fantastic pictures and supports 8K video recording like the Samsung Galaxy S20 series. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a 20MP ultra-wide camera and two telephoto lenses one of these is 8MP and supports 10x hybrid zoom and the other is 12MP with 2x optical zoom which is used for portrait mode. Pictures taken with the phone looks great and delivers great dynamic range and color accuracy. It also has a 20MP front facing camera which is a pretty decent resolution for selfie snapper. It comes with 4500mAh battery capacity. This phone has a 50W fast charging, 30W wireless charging and 10W reverse wireless charging which lets you use the device as a wireless power mat for other devices. Xiaomi has a reputation for producing quality phones at affordable prices and Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro 5G is another example of that. Huawei Nova 7 Pro 5G smartphone was launched in 24th April 2020. Huawei Nova 7 Pro 5G comes with 6.57 inches Full HD Plus OLED screen it has a punch hole front camera design. It is powered by a 2.4 GHz octa core high silicon Kirin 985 processor. It comes with 8 GB of RAM. As the name suggests, there is a 5G modem inside this phone. As for the cameras, the Huawei Nova 7 Pro 5G sports a quad camera setup with a 64 megapixel main lens, an 8 megapixel ultra wide camera, followed by an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that supports up to 5x optical zoom and a 2 megapixel macro shooter. Pictures are great when taken in daytime, color reproduction is good, dynamic range is not bad if you consider the price. You can record 4K video and Huawei added another cool feature which is super slow-mo video capture. You can record 720p super slow-mo video at 960fps. Over at the front there is a dual punch hole module with a 32MP primary and an 8MP 105 degree field of view ultra wide angle shooter. 
Pictures are good with the front camera and delivers enough depth of field. The Huawei Nova 7 Pro 5G runs EMUI 10.1 based on Android 10 and packs 128GB or 256GB of inbuilt storage. It was launched in midnight black, silver, forest green and midsummer purple and honey red colors. It is powered by a 4000mAh battery with 40W fast charging support.